It'll be Johnson and Lopez to jump it up. And Johnson wins it for Philadelphia as Simmons is off and running. Here with the Timberwolves. Reddick and Simmons got smushed together. Butler flips it in plus the foul. Here is Simmons. He's just so smooth on the move. And he finds Butler, the cut, the finish, and the timeout from Chicago. Levine looking to shake Reddick. Around the Lopez screen, jitters left to the lane and gets the roll. There's a lot to his game. Harris nuzzles in, trying to force a pass. Done on the steal, the float ahead to Levine. Levine galloping inside and finishing. Playful personality yes, too. Yes, for sure. We were doing a game earlier this year, and Reddick hits the three. Butler. Has scored six in the quarter. Nice look. Bolden gets right around Lopez for the flush. Archie Diakono switched on Bolden. Lopez has size on Scott. Goes to the hook. And finishes Robin Lopez with 11 in the first. Well, the other part of that, and, and Brett talks about this all the time, and you, you asked him about what has to get better by the end of the year, is Jimmy is going to take another tough shot under duress of the shot. How good is that? Mm. And match those starters with the bench units and get those rotations right in the playoffs. Because the bench isn't as strong as some others. Whoa! <laughs> hey, now! James Ennis! And his ducks inside went right around marketing. Boy, tremendous move. Jeez. I would be very surprised if he didn't get it. Porter leaves it and Levine double pumps the finish. And you know how everybody just gets along a little bit better and the arguments are not as frequent and there's not as much cursing. Simmons flips it in. Porter trying to get Reddick on his hip. Reddick did a nice job staying in front. Porter forces it up, gets the roll, and draws the whistle on Reddick. Now we marketing yet to score this game, and yet the Bulls have a one-point lead. Simmons gallops and flushes. He'll do that quite often. He needs to get more consistent on that end. Jim Boylan continues to point it out as well. Levine, heck of a little shimmy. Through the paint and to the rim. The space, there's not any, there wasn't a defender near him. They decided not to guard him. To the rim. Harris puts it down, and Tobias Harris starting to cook here in the third. Learning each other, I do think, is valuable. Not to mention, there's an outstanding chance as Larkin it adjusts beautifully to finish that. Versatility of how he can score. Simmons fakes the pass, and pizza pies at home. Harris backing down Levine. Ennis. Hop spins and gets the roll. Crucial down the stretch as they try and vault into the three seed. Ahead of Indiana, Levine got hit and still put it down. Now 22 for Levine, nice look from Simmons. How about Archie Diakono getting his hand in there? And if though, using the window gloriously. Scott with a wild spin. Got into the lane though, couldn't caress it home. Rebound, save! Absolutely incredibly magnificent with the acrobatic alley oop. What a ridiculous highlight! His rookie year, what would have been his rookie year? He would have won Rookie of the Year had he played enough games. I just think oh. most Warriors felt like he had him. But I like it. Just bludgeoned opponents in those 73 minutes of plus 44. Obviously, they got to feel good about the returns, but that's not a lot of time as Scott hits the three and then provides the stare. And obviously the Bulls fans, yeah, certainly hoping that other powerful Dookie will join the crew here in Chicago as Harrison finishes after McConnell was left on the deck. In every fourth quarter they've needed him, that guy has delivered. Jumper good for Selden. And Brett Brown told us, hey, we know. So there is pressure across the board. And, you, uh, and that, that one caught my attention by the great Jackie McMullen. Thing be an issue for them. And then two, Josh Harris sort of singled out Joel Embiid as the guy who's the central focus. Yeah, he said a conversation and, you know, sort of a better understanding. And I know he wants to be in Philadelphia as much as Joel does. Nice finish by Amir. Lakers Nuggets with LeBron going 
to pass Michael Jordan on the all-time scoring list as Porter gets it to drop plus the foul. Good communication and switching there by Mike Scott. He gets Jimmy Butler through and now two switches back to back. Levine, oh, he's stealing it. That exact play gives you the reason. Levine into the lane, tie game. Floor Zach Levine. 33 for Levine. Simmons puts Philadelphia back in front. Marketing has size on Reddick. Shot much in the fourth. Great pass done to Porter. He got it. Tie game again. Back into the arms of Levine. Levine has been the creator, and he's also been the finisher. He just makes the game look easy on the offensive end. Down two. Levine with a little bit of a runway. He got it. Tie game. 37 for Zach Levine. Two for one opportunity for Philadelphia. Harris couldn't get it to go. Nice D inside from Chicago. He'll give it up to Lopez on the move. Can't finish the layup, but a foul. Lopez is fouled and will shoot a pair. Seven seconds remaining. Butler on the drive, hooks it up and is fouled. Jimmy Butler is fouled and will shoot a pair. Has to get it in. Lopez gets it back to him. Levine with the runway. Lays it in. Plus the foul. Zach Levine does it again. You said it. Remember the inbounder. They didn't. And Levine misses the free throw. Almost okay at this juncture as more time runs off. Lobs it inside. for a 108-107 impressive victory.